While working in AutoCAD, there are many things that you need to be aware of. The status bar is a billboard displaying information for you. It's located at the bottom of the screen, and right now I have it stretching all the way across. Starting on the right side of your drawing area, you will find the drawing coordinates. As I move my mouse or cursor around, the different coordinates in X, Y, and Z elevations are displayed. AutoCAD works in a Cartesian coordinate system to keep track of where you are in the file. To help you keep track of your position, the status bar will display your coordinates all the time. So if you need to determine the coordinates of an object in your drawing, for example, a line, I can zoom in with my scroll wheel on my mouse, move my cursor over to that endpoint of that line, and it will show me where the coordinates are. Next, you will see here on the left are your toggle status icons. They're highlighted when they're on. It means they're blue when they're on. And as you move your mouse over them, they will display the name of whatever it is. Mine are getting cut off due to the resolution setting of the screen, so I'm going to move this status bar, because remember, it's a palette. So I can move it and put it wherever I want. It doesn't have to be at the bottom. I can put it at the top, wherever. But as you move over each of these icons here, it tells you what they are, and it also reminds you of the keyboard shortcut or toggle button that will turn them off or on. To toggle these settings off or on, you can use your different function keys or keyboard shortcuts, a lot of them with the command button, to turn them off or on, or you can just click on them. So if I want to turn the grid off or on, I can just left click on the grid status bar icon. I can do the same here for my ortho mode and toggle that off or on. Polar tracking etc. Over here on the left, you're going to find the model space or paper space toggles. So tell you what the name of the file is. I just have a generic file open. It will tell you which tab you're in, model space right here, or my two paper space tabs. And I can create a new one or show the drawing layouts, etc. Here on the far left is just quick view layouts where I can see all of them. It'll give you a little bit of a preview of what it is. I don't have anything in these drawings. Of course, I can always close that by clicking on the little X. Here in the center, I have my pan command. I can click it and pan around. Press escape to get out of that. I can zoom in or out, or I can toggle off or on my view cube. And we'll talk about those things later on. Here on the far right of it, I have my annotation scaling. We'll talk about that with our text. I have more annotation visibility settings and the clean screen setting. I can click it, that'll turn it on, or then I can just hit Command-0 to turn it off again. Now if I click on this little arrow here, that'll pop up some more functionality that I can get to. I can get to my 3D object snaps, turn those off or on. I can allow or disallow the dynamic UCS. There's a 3D orbit. A lot of these other commands have to do with your 3D modeling. So typically, I keep those off unless I'm doing 3D modeling. And for the course of these videos, I'm going to leave those turned off. Now I can completely close it by Xing this out here, but I don't want to. I'm going to put it back where it belongs and then stretch it across the screen. So that's the status bar. You can look at it very quickly to get some information on what's going on in your file or your drawing, or you can make a couple of changes or gain access to other aspects of your drawing.